Hi. Happy New Year. I'm sorry if there's a glare. I'm going to fix that in T minus 21 seconds. Here I am with my two beverages. Oh, I only have one. Let me get my other one. Happy New Year. I'm really happy you clicked on this video. Um, I know I have not made one in a while. I've had a lot going on um, and I apologize that it's been a little bit, but I'm back and this video is really important and I really hope that it reaches you. I hope that you find that um, it's not, you know, any huge, 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 terrible thing, but it's important to make. Um, there might be some people um, in the universe who are cancer patients who, or who know people who've had cancer and might tend to disagree or um, might tend to agree a lot. So I don't know exactly um, how you might feel, but this video is really important to make. So yes, Cancer is really expensive in many different ways. Um, it does cost a lot of money, it costs a lot of time, it costs a lot of things in general overall. Um, towards the end of this video, and I promise to keep it short, I will be discussing the actual financial aspect of how much um, my cancer has cost me financially and my family. It's been a lot, um, but uh, the first thing that I really wanted to discuss was um, not the financial costs, but your personal costs. So, without being too harsh, um, I want to say, and like I said, you might not agree if you have been through cancer yourself or you know someone who has, um, cancer, more than anything, will cost you your relationships. Um, sometimes in a good way and sometimes not. Um, also, it will sort of clean house um, in regards to who needs to be in your life and who doesn't. You might have heard this before, but it's absolutely true um, in about 80% of the cases of the people who I know and the people who I'm friends with who've either been through cancer or an illness. When you're diagnosed with cancer, your life changes immediately. Um, you find out who your army is, what their purpose is, and how much they care about you very quickly. And who doesn't? Um, sometimes it may shock you and sometimes you kind of knew all along and you're just kind of um, confirmed or the feeling is affirmed. Um, you're all along your intuition was right. So I'm going to talk a little bit today about uh, the expenses of my cancer um, in regards to my personal life. Uh, I was very, very disappointed um, when I was diagnosed with cancer. Um, a couple of people who I really, really thought would be there for me just completely disappeared out of my life. Um, not knowing it was a good thing right away, I quickly realized that it was and um, how much I was actually gaining by the loss of um, that expense, if that makes sense. So, in a nutshell, um, I do want to say it was people that were the closest to me or who I thought were the closest to me. Um, a lot of people's um, reactions around you change and you kind of become sort of a different person yourself. So you're quickly having to scramble to figure out what to do next, who to trust, and who not to trust but the universe sort of has a way of um, showing you who those people are. Um, without sounding too repetitive, that is just very, very true. You will find out who's meant to be in your life and who won't. Um, the most expensive relationships that uh, were initially part of my life before I got diagnosed with cancer became absolutely free because they ended abruptly. Um, it really wasn't anything I could do, and I'm not going to blame it on the illness, but honestly and truly, I'm grateful for those losses, and I feel that I owe no debt to them. There's um, no interest to be paid, there are no bills left to be paid, and the financial aspect of cancer is what I'm going to talk about next. 
Um, your expenses vary, of course, depending on your illness, your insurance, the hospital, the place you live, your country. Um, I live in the U.S. where we have different kind of health care. When I was first diagnosed with cancer, I did not have good medical insurance at all. I actually had just recently gotten insurance on a whim um, a couple of months prior before I was diagnosed and had no idea I had cancer. Um, I just knew that I started um, not feeling well and I was going to the doctor more so I needed to probably get some insurance. So I did. I did a little bit of research but not very good research and um, did the best I could to get myself some insurance just, you know, to have it. A um, couple months later, was diagnosed with cancer. My first surgery rolled around. Um, at that time, it was the end of 2018, and I still couldn't really do anything about the insurance that I had, so I had to pay for it out of pocket. My family, uh, of course, had to pay for my um, <laughs> surgery, my hospital bills, which were really expensive. Um, I'll get into, at the very end of the video, how much um, my illness has cost me overall and how much um, it would have cost me if had I not traded insurances. Um, this might be a pretty boring video, but I it's just really important. Um, I've been wanting to make it for a while and I've been kind of uh, torn as to how to make it, but it's um, really, really crazy how your life changes and how you are forced to grow up immediately, how you're forced to have your priorities thrown out on the table and you pick and choose which ones are important and which ones aren't. Um, some days you feel really bad too and you kind of have to decide what you want to spend your energy on. Um, my Second surgery happened in 2019, and by that time, um, I had thankfully gotten some really good insurance. So even though I changed my insurance, which covered um, all pre-existing conditions, um, most of my hospital visits with a very low premium, um, I still had a lot to pay for from the year previous when I had my first surgery and not very good insurance. Um, over the course of about a year and a half, almost I guess it's been, wow, no, about a year and two months, um, the illness I have has cost my family over $80,000. So um, I want to say as the cancer industry is growing, if you do not have insurance, um, if you are over the age of 18, I would um, strongly advise you to find a job that offers you really good insurance or just pay for it if you can um, on your own because you know I never thought that I would get sick with an illness I always felt healthy most of my life and BAM all of a sudden no ma'am uh -huh. and I was stuck with a huge debt which I'll be paying for for many many years um, which you know my family and you know one day hopefully I'll be able to pick up more of the burden um, but until that time I can only pay for hospital visits, medications, and things like that. Um, you know, most people in America on average make, um, you know, if you're a lower to middle class family, you might make 50, 60 grand if you're lucky. Um, you know, if you're just one person, um, there's no way that I could, I don't make $80,000 a year on my own. So that plus the other expenses absolutely impossible. Um, so yeah, now I do have good coverage, but um, you know, my medicines, if I did not have good insurance, um, the most important medicine, um, which is my um, replacement medication that keeps me alive, if I didn't have insurance, um, those bills alone would cost me anywhere from 80 to $300 per medication. I get them refilled about two or three times a year. Um, I take two different thyroid medications and I take five other important medications, which can be up to $1,000 in total, um, just per refill. Um, so yes, it's very expensive. Um, you kind of come to a point where you realize, oh my gosh, um, I can't subscribe to Amazon Prime. I can't have Netflix anymore. Uh, thankfully, my partner pays for all that, but it's just one of those things where you truly kind of have to lay out on the table things that are important to you, things that you want to pay for, people who are important to you, people who you want to invest time in, you want to actually spend time with. And this money, yes, is about, um, this video is about 
spending. It is about investing and it's about what you lose and what you gain from an illness. Um, not just cancer, but you know, any sort of illness that forces people to um, give you their undivided attention and affection will show you a lot of things. So if you've made it this far, I know this is probably one of the most boring ones I've made and um, I might touch base on this again. My next video will uh, be probably around Saturday with some lighter hearted info, but um, I did want to make this video. It's been a long time coming and hard to make and it's absolutely true. When you hear people talk about this, it is absolutely 100% true. Cancer is very expensive, not just financially in all aspects of your life. Thank you for watching guys and happy new year. I really hope it's a happy one. I hope it's a happy one for me and my family and all of yours as well. Thanks.